Alright, welcome to the miscellaneous video of Dot Hackutation. In this video, we show you I show you the hidden secrets that are inside Dot Hackutation. Alright, the first one is a secret area. It is... Hold on. This one. Lambda Capricious Unending Corridor. It's a level 38 area. It's relatively easy to get through if you're decent level. Inside of it, you'll find the rare twin blade weapon, Gemini Soul, which is a negative weapon, so don't actually use it. And the Chinese food uh, key item. Well, not really key item, tradable item. <laughs> this is the trade with Henri, A N N R I. Make sure you guys know how to spell it. <laughs> for the weapon Super Wufi, which is the best long arm weapon in the game. Get it early enough in the game and keep the long arm person in your party the entire time, and makes the game insanely easier. The second is Bottomless Soul Kaleidoscope. FYI, the <coughs> Capricious Unending Corridor comes with the with liminality. It's in liminality. <laughs> this one is on the back of the dot hack dot hack DVD dot hack sign DVD set two. <laughs> this is Lambda Bottomless Soul Kaleidoscope. It's level 43, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> Inside you'll find the BL Yokohama. It is a stat increasement book. It gives you plus four to water. Now, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, this is a reference to the jumping into Yokohama River. It is a baseball tradition that a lot of people do in Yokohama when their baseball team loses. If they lose the World Series or something like that, they jump into the river to show their dedication to their team, which is why it gives you a water increasement. Not 100% sure on that. The last one is from a Japanese manga that has not been translated to English, so, yeah. This one is Lambda Lightless Sacred Remains. <clears throat> Inside of it at the bottom in the God Statue, you'll find the item Bent Glasses, it's Rare Headgear. This is a reference to Liminality. In it, the character, whose name I can't remember right now, wears glasses, and at some point in it, they get damaged and actually bent. This is a reference to that happening. Alright, <clears throat> on to the next one. We're on to the next thing. Uh, on to Grunties, actually. <clears throat> uh, there are two new Grunties in here, of course. Uh, they are the Bony Grunty and the Snaky Grunty. A easy recipe to make the Bony Grunty is four Cordyceps, one Mandragora, two Piney Apples, one Snaky Cactus, and as many Golden Eggs as you can get up to 40 height. Or 40, 40 weight, whatever it is. The Snaky Grunty actually has two recipes that I know of. 4 piney apples, 3 snaky cactus, 12 golden eggs, and 9 ono melons. The second recipe is 5 grunt mints, 5 la pumpkins, 5 mandragora, 4 white cherries, 2 ono melons, and 10 golden eggs. That's actually the recipe I used. <clears throat> Alright, uh, rare equipment, you know, it's just, there's the gold, there's the, uh, the uh, goblin tag game. You get the goblin set A which allows you to summon a higher level goblin, basically. Grunty Racing. Excuse me. Um, recommendations for that. Come alone. Don't have anyone there. During the event where you have to go with Mistral to fight Kubia, Lambda Server is basically barren of characters except for those people on the side. So this is a perfect time to get the Lambda Server uh, Golden Prize. As for the Theta server, I recommend uh, practicing. Get the one on the right, right after the bridges, after before, right after the uh, Grunt Farm first. Get the one right in front of the Cascade second, and the one near the last one as quick as possible afterwards. If you get to the one at the Cascade in under 16 seconds and just book it towards the last one, you'll get it. Uh, the prizes for each of them are going to be basically the same. If you get third, third place in Theta, you get a Divine Cross, which fully heals your people, your characters, of HP and SP, and anyone around them. I believe that's what it does. It might just be HP. Second place, you get a Silver Grunty. You can only get three of them. First place, you get a Golden Grunty in Image 51. You can only get three Golden Gruntys. Image 51 is a special image showing Elk sitting with... Iron Grunty and Poison Grunty, and in the background you see Noble Grunty with the shopkeeper. Um, Lambda Server, you get 
a Emperor Soul for third place, second place Silver, first place Grunty, Gold Grunty, and an uh, image 52. I'll, I'll just end up showing you the images when I'm done with this. Now, throughout the course of the game, you'll have a chance to see Dot Hack Sign flashbacks. The Dot Hack Sign flashbacks refer to s specific episodes that are inside Dot Hack Sign. <clears throat> These actually go to a side quest that's going to be, be appearing in Outbreak. Alright, the first one is the flashback known as The Guardian. The Guardian is a flashback where Kite, or not Kite, where Tsukasa shows off his Guardian to Mimiru and Bear. You get this at the very beginning of the game. All you have to do is go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground and Delta Server as soon as you want to, and you'll see the cutscene. You'll get the key item uh, M Wave Master, which represents Memory Wave Master, and a Golden Grunty. The second flashback is unlocked after completing Lambda Nameless Seeker's Prayer. You go there and you'll see Sora uh, requesting, quote unquote, BT's memory, member address. Once it's over, you'll get Memory Twin Blade and a Silver Grunty. The third flashback happens after you receive, which means once you get, Lambda Dying Madness Haunted Land. You don't have to complete it to get it. Uh, you head to Holgrounds Cathedral and you'll see the scene where Subaru and Silver Knight talk about Tsukasa's condition to his friends. You'll receive Memory Heavy Axeman and a Golden Grunty. The final one is the battle between Krim and Sora. You get it after visiting Lambda Scattering Fossils Milestone. Um, you'll get Memory Long Arm and a Silver Grunty. Once all these are done, you'll have access to a special quest in Outbreak that gives you a lot of nice weapons, a lot of nice items, as well as a special background. Anyway, let's show you the Grunty images. This is the first one. It's really cute. And this is the second one. <clears throat> now, the Grunties that are around me and Elk, like a Bony Grunty, Snakey Grunty, Iron and Poison Grunty actually have aromatic grass. If you give them aromatic grass, elk or Mia, it will greatly increase their infection forging. Affection forging. Which I'll probably be doing in a little bit. Anyway, that I think is the all is all the hidden secrets. Oh wait, rare weapons, I forgot about that. <coughs> if you give me a second, I will have it up. Change back to my, my wallpaper. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there's a level 23 Blade Master weapon called Sword, all capital. You get it from Daydraining a Mad Witch from Lambda Lightless Fatal Melody. It's a relatively high level area, so be prepared. <coughs> you can get Buredo. <laughs> it's basically the um, Hiragan, the Katakana pronunciation of the word blade. So, you get from Daedrian and King Worm. You get that in the hidden dungeon of Theta Bitter Fantasy Mirror World. Long arm weapons is a weapon called Chishuan, which is basically a water version of Scarlet Autumn, which is the weapon you get from the Chinese Future Monarchy. Um, let's see here. <laughs> you get it from a Harpy Queen, which you can get from Landa Lonely Miracle Prairie. There's also oh, the Super Wolfi, never mind. This <laughs> Jishuan is the Super Wolfi opposite. That's the one you trade Chinese food with Henri. <coughs> uh, Twin Blades. So you can get the Spiral Edge from the shop. Gemini Soul, I already told you where to find that. Blades, Blades of Bond is um, from Sanjiro, Sanjiro's quest. Fish Skin, you get it from Daydreaming a Squidabot from Lambda Capricious Organ Market Scent. You can get it in the final dungeon as well, or Bittersweet. Fancy World, whatever it was. Fancy. Bitter ma ma uh, Fancy Mirror World, I think it was. <coughs> Something like that. Um, the next one is Crimson Rage, you get from Anglomore, from Theta Bitter Fancy Mirror World. <laughs> Make sure you daydream it, because that's the only place you can get it. <laughs> but I found that Blades of Bond is actually a little bit better. <clears throat> Overall. Um, Heavy Axeman, 8 Key Guardian, you get from daydreaming an Easter Rock. You can find them in Lambda Lightless Fatal Melody. 
There's also Key Axe, which is a weapon I haven't given to anyone. You get it from trading Ice Bar to Ponta, which is the reason why you want to keep it from the original game. Heavy Blade, you can, get, you can get the Kotetsu Sword from the shop. Uh, Demonic Blade is from a Sanjuro side quest. Mimidu Sword, you get from rejecting Theta rejecting Oblivious Wavemaster. Spark Sword, you get from a quest, Storyline Quest. Blade 3000, you get from Daydreading Easter Rock from Lambda Lightless Fatal Melody. Levatine, you get from House Golem. You can find them in Pulsing Worst Core, but I found them in the Bonus Dungeon Core. So if I'm going quickly, I'm running out of time, so. Uh, Great Elite is a Wave Master weapon. You can get it from David Draining Harpy Queens in Lambda Lonely Miracle Prairie. Wand of Pattern you get from Wander Demons. I've only found them in Bitter Fa and Theta Bitter Fancy Mirror, Mirror World at the very near the very end. Uh, the rare armors is, is bent glasses. There is Lucky Shoes, which you get from finishing uh, Bitter Fancy Mirror World. And I believe that's it. Yep. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed the LP, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.